Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're gonna look into Taylor Nicole Dean. Basically, I have a cluster of things wrong with me. First, a little disclaimer. We're not gonna get into the rumors about any kind of drug abuse. Um, I don't care how much evidence there is. That is not what we're about. Because that's just wrong to even attempt to make fun of, which is basically what I do. I don't just call her out, I also make fun of it. And that I won't do. But with that out of the way, let's get started. Taylor is another pet YouTuber. Here is Toast. Her name is Celia. Now this guy is a lot like my Pac-Man frog. His name is Gus. Okay. Now Gus was actually supposed to be snake food. With over 1.5 million subscribers? But let's dive in and see why people hate her so much. As far as I can tell, a lot of people are claiming that she is hoarding animals. So like a good five months of me just buying animals, like accumulating animals extremely fast. I went from, you know, having one snake to having like eight or nine extremely quick. Well, that was easy to confirm. I'm glad she stopped. I haven't bought a million or anything. I've gotten a few new snakes and stuff, but nothing crazy in a while. Well, if she did, it wouldn't really be a video now, would it? Now, since she has confirmed herself that she is a hoarder and that she hasn't stopped buying animals, let's have a look into how she takes care of these animals. Because notoriously, hoarders don't take care of their animals. Now, at first glance, when I looked through her videos, I didn't really find anything problematic, but then I quickly realized she has deleted quite a few videos. And why would you delete video as a pet YouTuber? Because you probably fucked up! But let's just start with the obvious. She appears to be moving around quite a lot. Now, first here, we have her stating it. Mm, moving is hard. Been here for a month now, still haven't unpacked. And a few days ago, she uploaded this picture to Instagram, which is basically claiming she is moving again. Now, I, as a pet owner, would state that moving your animals is usually not a good thing. It stresses them out, and you kind of want to keep that to a minimum. Now the question is though, why is she moving? Is it because she wants to move to somewhere else, a bigger place? Maybe she can get more room for the animals? Is it because she gets kicked out due to complaints about her animals? Such as this one, where you can see that they were specifically mentioning an aggressive monitor. I have no idea which one it is, just stating that that is potentials. She claims to know what she's doing, including doing the research, which is required before you buy an animal. I have spent so long like learning about animals, so I knew what I was taking in. I beg to differ, because we have evidence of her not even being able to tell the species of the animals she buys. Da 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 da! It's a black-throated monitor! <coughs> what we have here is a roughneck monitor lizard. She bought that thinking it was a black-throated monitor. Not the same species, not the same requirements, yet she bought it. And if she did the research, she would have known that, but she didn't know, therefore I doubt she did the research. And this comes into the whole being a hoarder and impulse buying animals. When you impulse buy an animal, you're doing a horrible thing because you don't know what you're doing. You have no idea what the setup it requires, the space, the humidity, the temperature, the food items. Or if it requires live food, how do you keep that alive? Like I keep geckos. I need to have live insects on hand. Now onwards to the next thing that's been widely criticized. Gucci, the milk snake, apparently escaped its enclosure. Now that in itself, I do not consider a problem. Because I know saying that there are two types of snake owners. The ones that has lost a snake and the ones that are lying. And I do believe that because I have kept snakes and I still keep a single snake. And I have had snakes break out and spent days ripping my apartment apart trying to find it. It happens to everybody. It's just a matter of time, you're keeping animals, they'll break out, you'll forget to close the enclosure, one day something stupid happens. That's not the problem here. The problem is, she also keeps rodents, and she didn't secure the rodent cages after the snake escaped. That's something you really have to do, because, well, snakes eat rodents. And guess what? That's what happened. Gus, one of her mice, was eaten by Gucci. Now here comes part of the problem with Taylor. Apparently then, she went out and lied about it and, cl and claimed that the mouse died of old age, even though statistically he was only about halfway through his life. But that's not all of it. Apparently, in the same span where the snake had been missing, she bought an identical snake. 
and she didn't introduce that snake until they had found Gucci, the original snake, which implies that she had intentions of replacing the snake she had lost to make sure nobody found out it was missing. Now this is of course only a rumor, but it's based on that she pretty much never has identical animals. There's always something different about them. And this is a very serious accusation, because if this is true, then we're in a situation that we actually can't tell how many animals she has lost, because every single animal could have been replaced at some point without anybody being the wiser. Now there are no proof of this, so it's purely an accusation made by others, I'm just mentioning it here because it because it does tell you something about the person that they have set themselves up in the position where this is a plausible accusation. Now from one potential lie onwards to the next one. She recently about a couple of months ago lost two croc skinks and a pac-man frog because according to her the circuit breaker blew out so the power went out and when she turned it back on the heat pads malfunctioned and basically cooked and fried the animals. This happened because she didn't check on them until 12 hours later. First of all, first of all, if the power goes out, you're supposed to check to make sure all of your installations, they are back up and running, especially when it's animals. And then you should, for the following hours, keep an eye on them to make sure nothing went wrong because of this exact reason. Go see uh, Repsilla's video about this because when it comes to electricity, he knows a lot more than me, but basically her apartment is a fire hazard because she's overloading the sockets S simply by the amount of setups she's putting on it. It's too much of a strain and too much power. So basically her apartment is a fire hazard waiting to just blow up. And then evidence have surfaced that this really horrible explanation that puts her in a very bad light appears to be a lie. And that was really smooth. Brie Exotics wrote this claiming that apparently the animals didn't die from a power outage but they died because of neglect and inadequate care which is so much worse when you're an animal keeper you have to make sure your animals are taken care of. Every time I go on a holiday I always make sure somebody has a key to my apartment and shows up regularly to make sure there's water everything's running and nobody's you know having issues. Then there's the whole story about her kittens. I'm not gonna go too much into it, but basically it seems she knew nothing about how to take care of a cat, especially kittens this young. Yet she took in these two kittens anyway, which apparently were sick already to begin with, which tremendously explodes the amount of care you have to give them. And of course one of them died relatively quickly. And people had some serious issues with the other one seeming just as sick. It does pull through though. If you want to know more about that, I recommend you watching one of whatever's video. I'm leaving a link to that in the description, just as Repsilla's video. Now because of all of this, someone has made a Google Docs that tracks all of her animals that we know that she has had. It's, it states what animal it is, when she got it, what happened to it, did it die, how long did she have it and whether or not it's survived into the average lifespan of this type of animal. On this list, there's 107 animals that she keeps in a two-bedroom apartment. 28 are confirmed dead by herself, 23 are claimed to be rehomed, and 10 we simply do not know the status of because we have not seen that animal for a long time. That's a potential of 61 dead animals. And none of the confirmed dead animals lived to the average lifespan of that species. Just consider that. 28 dead animals and not a single one made it to average or above. Why is none of hers reaching average? Now take all of this and then mix it in with a potential drug abuse. Yes, I know I wouldn't go down that line. But these animals are at risk already before we consider it. Now bring it in on top, these animals are going to be neglected horribly. Just consider that future with her declining if she doesn't get help. Now Taylor needs help if she does have a drug abuse problem. And then she basically has to not keep animals for a while. I know it's tough because she literally states 
that she is getting a high off of having animals. And it just gave me this like natural high basically where I just felt so happy. This is horrible because she apparently is also hiding the fact that she does not have the ability to take care of these animals and she is losing them left and right and it's just going horrible. It appears she's providing subpar care and she is far too impulsive to be allowed to work with animals and definitely be allowed to buy animals like this because you end up with this person who is just not able to take care of all of these animals like when she bought the monitor. A monitor is a massive engagement. It takes so much time, space, and it requires so much. It's not as easy as like a crested gecko. On top of that, she has no formal training, yet with her position she is teaching others how to keep these animals, which she clearly doesn't know how to do, which then results in more animals being kept the wrong way and treated poorly which will only result in more animals dying because of inadequate care because we do not do our jobs as responsible human beings. And that's why I think Taylor should not be allowed to keep animals and she should probably, well she is already, taking a break from YouTube, get her shit in order and at least for a while not have keep animals. So that's going to do it for this video. What do you guys think? Uh, can Taylor change? Will she change? Or is she just lost to us? And if you liked the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And until then, I'll see you next time.